So we're going to start with the wonderful Richard Bergen. Richard is a far lefty, I guess, in the UK Labour Party. He is the Member of Parliament for Leeds. Uh, he is obsessed with Israel and Palestine. What makes him really, really happy is waving a Palestinian flag. What doesn't make him happy is the English flag. He does not like the English flag. He likes the Palestinian flag. This is a strange thing uh, that happened to the Western left. Um, they like their enemies, just like Bezmenov. They hate all nationalism except Palestinian one. Yes, they love Palestinian nationalism, but nationalism otherwise is really, really, really bad. So let's... Especially their own home countries. Yes. So let's hear what D. Richard has to say. Uh, the sound isn't great, uh, but you can see the uh, captions. So, um, oh, he wants to say it all over again. Um, so what do you make of this, Silva? Uh, I don't think he really wrote any of that. I think some uh, far lefty student he hires uh, wrote it all down all for him. He doesn't look very bright, uh, put it mildly. He also very reminiscent of a video game NPC who going to give you a quest. Uh, to find some uh, lost key in the bathroom or something <laughs> and give you very, very small XP boost after finish this, uh, finishing this quest. Uh, do you well, have anything to add? <laughs> because uh, he, Well, the, the thing is with uh, D. Richard is he's really obsessed um, and um, he, he represents... Um, he tried to run for leader of the party. He has, he has a lot of support, believe it or not. And he's part uh, it's of this, hopeless. Uh, if he want to run as a far left while being a straight white male, it's uh, all lost. His uh, all <laughs> hope is lost. So uh, once again, not very bright. No, and uh, he he um, he pushes this idea uh, along with uh, a lot of um, I have to say women MPs uh, that seem to be very vocal about um, their love for Palestinian nationalism um, and. Um, I think he, he has a chance of uh, getting something done. Uh, I think the, the government will block him. I haven't looked at the stats. He says he has cross-party support, and that is a worrying um, trend on the Western right, that they are not as supportive of Israel. And this is a consequence of pressure from the voters, because the voters uh, mostly see... Um, the mainstream media and the mainstream media in the UK has been very negative about Israel. Even the right wing is not very positive and there are several journalists in the UK that are on the right and they write negatively about Israel. Very few people write positively about Israel and very few people write objectively about the situation. So um, I, think, I think this is a worrying trend in the UK. Um, hopefully it will be stopped. Um, and there's some entertaining um, Facebook chat <laughs> on his on his Facebook page if people are interested in going uh, and uh, telling him what, what uh, you think about his silly ideas. Um, I just read he called the Zionism a peril on humanity or something of this sort. Yes. I mean, he's, he's literally uh, repeating the, the Soviet lines that were dropped into the Middle East, and he obviously is trying to cater to his, uh, um, his audience, really, because... It's, all the audience is most likely far leftist uh, student uh, and urban students kind uh, of yeah. types. And, and Labour movement in most of the West uh, doesn't have anything with the... Uh, 
the labor class? No, nothing. It's, it represents the uh, teachers unions and... Uh, unions, the... minorities, upper middle class. Yeah, basically. Uh, and they love to wave Palestinian flags. This is a strange obsession that they have. They literally mock people that wave the English flag. But... Um, Not but... just mock, they call them evil and racist as usual. 